All right, guys, Parlay Pals, this is the week. This is the week that you get back on track. The winning streak starts now. I feel it in my bones. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, hopefully it is. Hopefully everything you just said is uh, is on the nose, as they say. Oh, yeah. Uh, still awaiting Juliana Pena's pick. Oh, no. Uh, she's got, she's mm. got to finish up some research. No, we've been in communication. Okay, okay, okay. We've been in touch. I mean, last week it was, she sent it on like Sunday. She was just rev- revved and ready to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this week, you know, she's got to put in the last research. So we'll we'll kick it off and then we'll get from her. So I'll go ahead and throw our, throw our names in the old randomizer here. <laughs> All right, I will go first this week. Rick will go second, and then uh, old Frankie will finish it off for us. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to go alternate total rounds. Featured bout of the evening. Light heavyweight. Ovin St. Peru. Kennedy. Enzichukwu. Under yeah. two and a half. Oh, yeah. Wow. Minus 370. Under makes me so nervous. Uh, not for me in this fight. Okay. OSP, you know, aging. Been knocked out in three of the last four fights. Kennedy, many knockouts throughout his career, I, I think. But he has gotten got. Got iced bad by Dustin Jacoby last time out in like 67 seconds. So I think both guys are, are liable to get get got here. All right. There's one. You know me. I love alternate round totals as well. Oh. I'm heading to the main event, and I'm going under three and a half to be a little conservative. Oh. It's 320. I like that. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Under two and a half, minus 190. Said I was only going to do five bets this week. That is tempting to add in. <laughs> <laughs> minus 190 in a Taito Ivasa fight? Yeah. I, I, I was thinking two and a half, and then I was like, you know what? Let me just give a little. Know, that's that's tempting me to extra. add as a single. Yeah. Uh, all right, Frankie, your choice. You know, there's only one move to make. Do. Only one. <laughs> Panny Kianzad versus Macy Chiosan going over two and a half. Wow, a bunch of total players. No money line here on UFC Apex 88. We'll leave that uh, for, you know, Juliana. Uh, yeah, there's a couple good ones for her. Uh, all right, that gets us to plus 111. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, pick still play. I like that. I like that. I'm curious to see where she's going to go. Not the easiest card. Not these. It's not, and there's pretty. Is there is there anything else? Uh, let me see. I was talking to my guys ASW. over at Tapology. Uh, well, there's no, there's no. Uh, no, nah, not on DraftKings. There's two Cage Warriors, KSW, UFC. No, next week Bellator. No, it's pretty much down to this fight night card, huh? She'll find something. Callum Walsh minus eighteen hundred. Callum Walsh, you going? Someone asked me yesterday if I was going. I'm not, unfortunately. It's at the uh, theater. He forged Irish taking over New York, though. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, we'll see. They really push this Calm Wash, huh? UFC. Really push them. Really push them. <laughs> yeah, hard. Uh, dating Tabitha Ricci, I believe, as well. Oh, uh, Baby Shark. Yeah, Baby Shark. Out of them. Good for him. All right. What else we got? Uh, all right. I've got five bets for you. Like I said, I had to show some restraint, but, but it feels good. I feel, I feel rejuvenated. I feel refreshed just going with the five. We'll start with Corey McKenna. Uh, I like the wrestling here. Amaram, I feel like this is sub early or, or she's going to get outpointed throughout the three rounds. Um, big reach disadvantage, but I, I'm still okay with her on the feet. I, I don't have massive confidence in, in Amaram's hands. Uh, and then just the wrestling of Corey McKenna. She's shown good submission defense in the past. I think she can avoid getting submitted and pick up the W here. Next up, banger of a fight. Cannot wait for this one. Christian Rodriguez taking on Isaac Dolgarian. If you've watched Dolgarian fight, I mean, the dude is vicious. Last time out. Finishing Francis Marshall, just absolute violence when it came uh, to that finish. And if you go back and you look at his fights, six professional, four amateur, 10 fights total, 10 and 0 across those, all 10 wins coming by first round finish. Uh, I haven't seen him leave the first round, but there's no evidence that shows he's just going to completely fall off a cliff in terms of gas. He's fighting a featherweight. I think he's going to be in great shape. C-Rod moving up to featherweight after missing uh, weight at bantamweight a couple times. Curious to see how he does there. This would be the third straight fight that C-Rod took someone's O if he ends up uh, coming out victorious here. But C-Rod himself, 7 of 11, have not gone to a decision. I think this one's going to be fun. I think it's going to be chaotic. Uh, And I think someone gets done in here. Next up, already mentioned him, Kennedy in Zichekwu, man, I always struggle with that one. I feel like feel like I'm, it's always going to come out good when it's on the tip of my tongue, and then half the times I mess it no, up. No, it's good. And Zichekwu. Taking them, I think the W. You Zichekwu. Don't, I don't think you go with the W. I think it's just in Zichekwu. In Zichekwu. 
That's what I think. But I, could I feel be like honest. I've said it 80 times, and I could say it 80 more, no, and I'm still at, hitting at a 50, doing 50 rate doing it. Uh, on getting it out. But I am taking him by KO, TKO, OSP, 40 years old at this point. Um, not really sure where he's at in terms of where he wants to go in his fighting career. Uh, Kennedy, on the flip side, yes, he had the one standing guillotine, uh, but eight of his 12 wins have come by KO, and as I mentioned earlier in the Parlay Pals, OSP KO'd in three of his last four fights. I think Kennedy gets this one done. To the co-main event, Pooh Bear. I'm going to take Brian Battle. Uh, he's going to be the bigger guy here, three inches height, three inches reach. I like the kick game of him. Uh, he He's not as powerful as Angelusa per se, um, but I do like him in the striking in this one as well. I think he's got the better wrestling, and I trust the gas tank. The The worry is if Angelusa takes him down, I, I think Brian Battle has the better grappling, maybe not the better uh, defensive wrestling, definitely not. Um, but I don't know. I mean, we saw him struggle so much against Renat Fakhrednov. I don't think Angelusa is Renat Fakhrednov. So I think this stays standing, and if I think it does go to the ground, I think Brian Battle will be able to handle himself well in the grappling. So I think he gets it done. Shout out to Pooh Bear. And then I got a parlay. Thiago Moises, Mike Davis, Moises' opponent, coming in on real short notice. He's the younger guy, the more experienced guy, the more skilled guy. I think he's got it covered everywhere. And then Mike Davis, same thing. My biggest worry is is inactivity, but Natan Levy hasn't fought in a, in a good while either. I think he's just a better fighter in, in every realm than than Natan Levy, so I feel like both these guys get it done on Saturday. And that's that UFC Apex 88. Let's go. Short, brief, five picks. It's actually We're more on to than UFC I thought. Apex 89. I thought you were going to do like one. I thought you were going to do one. It's more than I thought. A Tai Tuivasa, Tibera under two and a half, minus 190. He's whispering in my ear right now. All right. Even more. Even more to come. Um, well, there is more in the uh, in the breakdown department over on the No Bets Bar podcast. Oh, yeah. We do the whole thing. Yeah. The whole oh, thing. Double. That's where you card. really earn your money when you're breaking down UFC Apex, Apex 89. Yeah. Or Apex 88, Apex 89 next week, Apex 90, That's the first week stretch. of April. It's a nice stretch. Yeah. They're. Uh, they're tough Just hangs at the top. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.